going to share some tips on setting a mouse trap. And your basic snap trap is going to have three main parts. A retaining bar, a trigger, sometimes called the catch, and a killing bar called the hammer. This bar is going to set underneath a little piece of waved metal on the trigger. All you have to do is pull back the hammer. You're going to hold it in the corner with your thumb, slide this retaining bar underneath that piece of waved metal, and slowly release your thumb. That's going to lock it in place. Then you're just going to hold it by the side of the wood. Very easy to set. And these snap traps are very effective. A couple of tips. One is make sure you're wearing disposable gloves because mice don't like the scent of humans. I would use either peanut butter, hazelnut spread, or a little bit of chocolate, about a pea size on this. And when you're setting this against a wall, you want the trigger perpendicular to the wall. You don't want to lay it horizontally. If the mouse comes from behind, it'll actually throw them off. So you want to lay it perpendicular so if they come from either side, you're going to have a high rate of success. And with your snap trap, what you're looking for is evidence of mice. So if you see an area with gnaw marks or droppings, that's where you want to put it. And one tip is set this without setting the trap for two or three days to see whether you found the place where mice are going because they tend to have a trail. So put a little peanut butter on this. Just lay it down without it being set for a day or two. You'll see if they take the bait. If they do, now they're used to this trap being there as a source of food. Set your trap and you're going to have a high rate of success.